Uh, because of the coronavirus pandemic, Christmas at the Vatican will look a little different this year. Earlier, I spoke with EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn for a preview of the Pope's upcoming schedule. Joining us now with more is EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn. Colin, good to see you. So what does the Pope's Christmas schedule look like this year? Good evening, Tracy. Pope Francis will celebrate Midnight Mass in St. Peter's Basilica at 7.30 p.m. Rome time on December the 24th. That's a little bit earlier than normal to comply with Italy's 10 p.m. curfew. Now, this Mass is typically celebrated with Vatican officials, diplomats and ambassadors. However, only about 50 people will be in attendance this year. And on Christmas Day, the Pope will give his Christmas blessing to pilgrims, also called the Urbi et Orbi. That is usually done from the Apostolic Palace window just behind me here, but this Christmas it will be broadcast from inside. Now, this will be the Holy Father's second Urbi et Orbi this year because he gave a special blessing back in March at the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. Then, on New Year's Eve, Pope Francis will pray Vespers and the Te Deum in Thanksgiving for the past year at 5 p.m. in St. Peter's Basilica. This will air live on EWTN and be carried across our social media. And on New Year's Day, the Pope will celebrate Mass for the Solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, and the World Day of Peace, again with a limited number of people present. And this is also the 54th World Day of Peace, and the Pope's message will be on the culture of care and a path to peace. Well, Colm, how are Italians celebrating Christmas? Well, Tracy, last week, Italy's Prime Minister, Giuseppe Conte, announced a nationwide partial lockdown during the holidays to avoid large gatherings and a potential spike in cases. Now, as of yesterday, there were 10,000 new positive cases in the country and over 400 deaths. Now, this partial lockdown started yesterday and will continue through Epiphany on January the 6th. All bars, restaurants and shops are expected to be closed, but grocery stores and pharmacies will remain open. On Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and the day after Christmas, there will be a hard lockdown. So everything will be closed and you can only leave the house to go to Mass and to visit another family member. But no more than an extra two people are allowed in each household. Well, Colin, what else is happening around the Vatican during Christmas? Tracy, due to the new lockdown, it's very different this year. But thankfully, charity groups will still be working around the clock to provide food for the homeless. One church in Rome decided to open its doors during the night to give the local people living on the streets a warm place to sleep during Christmas. They've set up individual beds with heaters and will provide meals for them as well. So although this Christmas will be very different to other Christmases here in Rome, many will be working hard to bring the Christmas joy to those who most need it. And like Pope Francis always says, we are all in the same boat together and must not forget the most vulnerable around us. Tracy? All right, Colin, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Colin Flynn, EWTN News Rome correspondent. Thanks again. Thank you, Tracy.